right here is the screw I found at a Walmart. I said they were three inch, but um, I saved this one. It is like probably two and a half. Yeah, two and a half. I don't know that you can see it. I don't know if it focused or not. Yeah, there it is. Well, this guy right here has a whole parking lot to park in. He decided to park right in front of Drifter. Now, do you think that was done on purpose? He's got at least 15 spots behind us. He decides to park right here. I, uh, I told Connie to save it, and I can't see it right now. But in another Walmart, there was some screws thrown where the RV parks some like three inch screws uh, wood screws and I kind of think that that was done intentionally too so I think people hates RVers that park in Walmart parking lots but I'm not sure is it just me or has any of uh, you other RVers uh, had the same experience I just don't understand why this guy would park right here Most of our cave footage was uh, unusable due to the lighting in the cave. So um, I'm going to use what little bit I can and hope you guys can enjoy what little bit that I was able to use. But we had such a good time at Sonora Caverns. It was a different type of cave. It was very uh, closed in. Um, if you were really claustrophobic, I would recommend not going to the cave. But we did have a good time that day. The cave, uh, the tour guide, the cave tour guide was uh, very knowledgeable. Uh, he said he does four tours a day. And the tour is approximately one hour and 15 minutes long. The Mayfield family began its ranching operation in Sonora, Texas around the turn of the 20th century. An opening in the rocks was found in the southern part of the ranch when a dog chased a raccoon into a 20-inch opening. Locals began exploring the cave sometime in the early 20s. They could go back about 500 feet from the entrance to a 50-foot deep pit. The section of the cave was eventually known as Mayfield Cave. Labor Day weekend, 1955, the discovery of a lifetime took place on the Mayfield Ranch near the town of Sonora, Texas. Two weeks prior to that weekend, 
three speleologists, Bob Chrisman, Bart Chrisman, and James Estes from Abilene, Texas, were exploring another well-known cave in Sutton County. They exited the cave around 3 p.m. and headed to the Mayfield Ranch to take a look at a cave known as the Mayfield Cave. They entered the cave and eventually made their way to a large room with a deep pit blocking further progress. High on the other side of this pit were seemingly inaccessible passages that continued but pressed for time. They left the cave. The story was told to other cavers. Danny Sheffield, Jack Allen, Clonhead, and Jack Prince crossed a narrow, sloping ledge high on the top of the right-hand side of the big pit and reached passages on the other side. Stories of bizarre formations and untold beauty began circulating among members of the caving community. Jack Birch, a caver from Oklahoma, saw the cavern for the first time in 1956. He began to see human impact in the caverns in places where there shouldn't have been any damage. His vision was to develop the cavern for future generations. Development started in 1959. The Caverns of Sonora was opened to the public July 16, 1960. Just a few years back, a young man broke a piece of uh, stalactite off and through the New Texas law was fined a great, great amount of money that he is paying back at this time. Texas values their caves and has passed legislation that makes it a criminal offense to harm or deface a cave in Texas in any way. The Caverns of Sonora, Sonora, Texas. Okay, now, how's it going? Well, I've got the new inverter installed. It's uh, 1,800 watts instead of 1,000. It's a longer inverter, so I have to drill a new hole here to put to mount this uh, on the side of the wall. So I'm going to do that, and then she'll be done. And we already tested, and it works. So yes, it does. We're Thank good you to go. Lord. Thank God. Thank you. Thank yes. You, Lord. We thought since it was Thanksgiving, we'd give them a little time at the dog park. Fort Stockton RV Park. Fort Stockton, Texas. We wanted to be in a park for Thanksgiving. What about this little girl? Happy Thanksgiving. Happy Thanksgiving. That Miley, I can't take her anywhere. That little tan dog over there poops every time we take her outside. I don't care if we take her out four times a day. I guess that could be a good thing. At least she don't do it in the RV. None of them are. They're all adapting very well. Look at her, she's doing it right now. Miley! <laughs> she likes to kick her little feet once she gets done. I guess they think they're covering it up. <laughs> 